Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about fixed length file in OIC. So how we can create fixed length file in OIC, everything we will learn in this video. So before going to a start, let's first discuss what, what is fixed length file. So whenever we are saying that fixed length file, it doesn't mean that we have any file, something like comma separated or TSV file and all. So whenever we are discussing about fixed length file, it means that we have a text file that have the fixed length for each and every column. For example, if you will see in the file, we have the example file. In the file, if you will see the first column is as a name. And in the name, we have fixed length of column till this 10th January 1990. Then after we have fixed length for the column date of birth. Then we have fixed length of column for software developer. And then we have fixed length of column, column for mobile number and all. So fixed length file whenever we are saying that fixed length file that file contain a space only and that empty for empty character will be replaced by a space only and the rest of the character will have the data so suppose we given a name as 50 character of the fixed length and suppose the first name is having 10th character only so next 40 character will be replaced by a space only so this is the simple fixed length file so let's begin how we can create everything we will discuss in this video so here we will create one integration. So before going to create integration, let me explain what kind of integration we are going to create. So our requirement is to create an integration where in this integration as a request payload, we will pass data. So suppose this is our request payload. In the request payload, we will pass employee data. Right here you can see we have multiple employee data. We will pass this data as a request payload to the integration and in response payload, we will receive the status as success and the file name, whatever we created. And once we will create the file in integration, the same file we will place over as FTP server. So this is FTP server and here this is the directory. Here we want to place the file created in OIC, the fixed length file. So what kind of file we are going to create? So we are going to create fixed length file, something like that. Here you can see I want to create fixed length file in this format only. So here you can see the first column is the name and the name the column having the total number of 20 character. As you can see, we have position as our cursor is in the position 21. It means that the before that we have 20 characters. So I want to give 20 character fixed length for first column. And the next column I want to give as in 12 character. You can see 2, 3, 3, 6, 7, 7, 4, 11. That the, this character, 11 character I want to give to the second column. Then after we have the third column and the fourth column and all. So that kind of things we are going to do. How you can identify the columns? by counting the character each and every character so you can easily count character by selecting here or just what we can do you can create one new line and for just learning purpose or for just for identifying purpose for the length of each and every column you can use one two three four five six seven eight nine zero zero till means ten character now one two three four five six seven eight nine zero it means ten characters so here you can see our first name having twenty character then after if we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. It means here 10th character and now 1. It means this is 11 character. So the second column having the 11th character. That kind of things we can, we can implement to identify. So once you will identify, you have to create one SSD file, SSD structure of that, the file we are going to create. So as if you remember, while creating the CSV file, we have to provide the CSV structure. For creating the fixed length file, we have to provide XSD schema for that file. So here you can see I have already created one XSD schema. I will show you here. So now you can see I have already created one XSD schema for fixed length file. And what kind of content we have in the schema file? If you will see, this is the structure of a schema file of XSD for the creating fixed length file. And here you can see these are the basic details that the element name employee that is array element as we are going to provide multiple values and here is the structure of the file that is the total number of columns so here you can see we have total number of one two three four five columns we are going to provide in the file and each and every column we have the type of the column so i given the type as a string you can use whatever you want a style as fixed length and here you can see the length for each and every column so the first column that is name having the length of 20 character. 
next column having the 11th character for the dob next domain having the domain having the 25 character and so on so this is the xsd schema of fix line 5 i will provide this schema link in the video description you can find from there so now begin to the integration part so here we have to create integration so i will create one app driven integration so that i can configure request and the response payload so here i will give the name xx create file integration 01 create and as you can see we have already created a request and response payload so i will use same request and response payload in integration while configuring so here once we create app driven integration we don't have any endpoint so we need to add the rest endpoint so that we can configure request and response payload so here i will give the name as a start rest next i will give the uri as create file i will choose method as post so that we can configure request and response payload both next here we have to select json schema and i already copied the payload so i will pass this simple payload here okay and now next we have to provide the response payloads so we'll select json here we have response payload i will copy this response payload and will provide the response payload here now we are done with the endpoint configuring the request and the response payload now it's time to I create the file so we know that in oracle integration we are creating file with the help of a stage operation so i will select a stage file operation here here we have to select write file as i am going to create file underscore stage is the activity in activity name write file stg next here we have to select the write file operation as we are going to create the file and here we have to specify the name so what kind of name we are going to provide the file name so I want to provide the file name something like that employee and system date dots text. So whatever we will do, we will use concrete. Concrete EMPL provide employee data underscore. We want to concrete the system date. So how we can concrete the system date? We have current date function. So I will use this current date here. I will drag this current date. Even instead of date, I want to use date and time. So I will drag this current date and time here. And now Again, I want to concrete the dot text txt so that it can create text file. So done. I will click on save. Now you can see it's saved. Go back here. We have to provide the temporary directory to create this file in OIC. So I will provide the directory as stage. Save. Exit. So now we are done with the giving the file name and the file directory where we have to create the file. Next, we have to provide the schema. So I will select XSD schema, XML XSD, right? And here I have already created the schema, this one. So same schema I will provide. So you can see the schema name is employee fixed length. So I will provide the same schema. So I will select here. And in the fixed length file here, we have the schema, employee fixed length XSD. So I will select that one. Next and done so we are successfully able to configure the rest and uh, configure the stage and endpoint to create the file we have to map the data we click here for map the data we need to expand here and we need to map this value so this value we are getting as a request payload so i'll map this array element with array element. this name with name dob with dob domain with domain and the last two column address with address and the contact with contact so now we are done with the mapping so that whatever data we are receiving as a request payload we map to the right file so that it can create the file based on the data we provided and now it's time to place this same file over sftp server so i have already created connection with this file server connectivity so i will derive ftp connection here in the ftp connection i will give the name as right file underscore ftp as we are going to write file over server now here we will select write file operation and i do and here we have to provide the output directory where we want to place the file and this is the file name pattern so where we have to place the file we have this directory so let me connect again so this is the directory where we want to create the file so i will copy this directory and this directory will be provided here now here file name pattern what kind of file we are going to create 
So I have already created the file with the help of a state. So say same file name we will pass here. So instead of giving the name, I will just provide the dummy name as it, this is the mandatory and the same value we can provide in the mapping also. So I will provide in the mapping next. Instead of providing the schema, I don't want to provide a schema as our file is already created. I will provide the file reference here. That's why I will select no so that we can configure file reference next and done. We added the FTP endpoint to place the file over server. Just we have to map the file name and the file reference. And we have file reference coming from write file response. So I will just map here in the mapping. I will expand. You can see file directory we have already provided while configuring the FTP endpoint. Just file name is remain. So I will get the file name from write file response. So I will move to the response, expand ICS file. And here you can see. This is the file reference and here in properties we have the file name. So I will drag this file name here and now you can see this is the ICS file inside we have the file reference. So this file reference define that what kind of file we are going to place over this directory with this name. So here we have file reference coming from the stage write file operations. So we are done with the mapping. We will close. And now it's time to map provide the mapping of integration response so here i will edit the mapper in the mapper in the status i will provide the hard coded value for now you can add based on your validation or logic you added so i will provide this successfully file created and based over server so this kind of message i want to provide and the file name so again i will get the file name from write file ftp response I even we can get the file name from the write file ftp state request so i will choose that request one stage one you can see a stage file so here we provided the in request we provided in response we generated the file name we map so i will use response one only so here we have file name so i will map this file name here validate and close so now we are done with that. So each and every integration have mandatory one business tracking business variable identifier as a tracking variable. So I will create one business identifier as name. Name column so that it can remove the error. So now integration is ready. Now we can save and after save you can say integration is in configure status. We can run the integration. So let's activate the first. So I will activate the integration. And once integration activated, you can see. Right now, this is our file server and we don't have the, any file here. Once we will run the integration, it will take some value as a request payload. So I have already some sample values here. I don't want to change. Now I will click on test. Once we will click on the test, same data file will be passed to the stage file to create file. And with the help of FTP endpoint, we are placing the same file over server. You can see integration completed file name. You can see employee data. This is the date time dot text. Same file we can find here in the server also you can see once I will open here you can see this is the same file we got. So whatever data we passed as a request payload in the integration same data we created in the file you can see this is the fixed length file. So even if you will see in the request payload if we pass more than more data so suppose let me copy this record again last record. So now we have six record and once I will pass this record again test you can see it will again create a new file you can see the file name is 183035 and if I will refresh here here you can see we got a new file 35 and once I will open this file you can see we have more data you can see we copy this record twice that's why we have two more data. So this is the simple integration where we learn how to create a fixed length file in integration. In next video, I will show you how we can create fixed length, how we can read fixed length data file from server. So suppose this is the same file in the integration. We will try to read the same file in Oracle integration. Thank you so much for watching.